has become a very partisan issue. Should all Texans be allowed to vote by mail because they're afraid of catching the coronavirus? That is what Texas Democrats are pushing for. Now on Friday, the Texas Supreme Court put a temporary hold on expansion of voting by mail during the pandemic. Here to talk about this is Ed Espinoza from Progress Texas and Travis County GOP Executive Director Brian Ruddle. Thank you both for joining us. Thank you. Brian. Good to be here. Thank you. When, when it comes to perception, Brian, it, it appears re Republicans are against expanded voting by mail. If Texans are concerned about getting sick, why not let them vote from home? Well, number one, in the election process, we need to make sure that any rule changes we have fully protects the right of every ballot vote. Now, obviously, we've seen Democrats on a nationwide status uh, pushing for uh, vote by mail expansion along with you know, Kennedy Center funding, you know, what Nancy Pelosi is doing out of D.C. Uh, we need to make sure that in this election cycle that every single ballot voter has a chance to get out to the polls. Uh, we've seen lines in Home Depot. Uh, the communities are opening up all over the state. Uh, if you are over 65, if you are, uh, do you have a physical disability, you can already get this mail-in vote. Uh, this is just nothing but a naked uh, uh, attempt by the Democrats to uh, really try to go around the legislature by their lawsuit. Ed, I how would you answer claims made by the president that mail-in ballots are a vehicle for fraud? Well, the very first claim I would make is that the president himself voted by mail. So it seems like there's a questionable claim to begin with there. But the bigger thing I would point to is that 43 states allow some kind of vote by mail access and only seven states restrict vote by mail by age, and that is something, and Texas is one of those states. It makes no sense. Why is it that voters age 65 and up can vote by mail and nobody else can? Why would you limit a method of voting to two thirds of the voting population? So that's one thing I would bring up. The next thing I would bring up is a recent Texas Tribune poll polled the, the electorate here in Texas and an, a majority of voters, an overwhelming majority said they think they should have an access to vote by mail. This is not something that comes down to whether it's good for Democrats or good for Republicans. The bottom line is that it's good for democracy. And if we have the ability to do it, which we do, because we're already doing it for voters age 65 and up, then we should be able to do it for everybody. Brian, uh, for example, if you look at the state of Arizona, which is still considered a red state, they've allowed any resident to request mail-in ballots for all elections for years now. So why wouldn't it work in Texas? Well, number one, these are complicated issues. You know, we have over 250 counties across the state. We need to make sure that any major change like this cannot be just uh, done at the whim of a uh, uh, drop of a pin. You know, these require serious deliber deliberation from legislatures, input from uh, county clerks, election administrators from around the state. Uh, this cannot just be something done uh, because it serves the short term interests of, of many Democrats in the state. Uh, if we are going to move to a uh, mail-in ballot election only style. We need to make sure that we can think through the serious consequences, have all the proper safety, uh, security, and uh, measures already put into place. This is not something that you just do ad hoc. This is something that you really need to have a lot of time and investment uh, in if you want it to be successful. Ed, why do you think the voting by mail debate is such a partisan issue? Well, simply, re Republicans like to do things that limit the vote, that slow down the vote. And this is an example of that. We saw it in the last legislative session where they took away mobile vote locations, but mobile vote locations that would have normally gone to college campuses and senior, sit uh, senior homes are now not allowed. So it, it's, a, it's a pattern of behavior that's very disturbing. But I want to correct one thing that Brian said, is that we're not advocating to go to an all vote by mail election. We're advocating for all vote by mail as an additional option, the same way as early vote is an additional option to election day. Uh, the other thing that I would add is that it's really not that complicated. This is not building a new infrastructure from scratch. Every single county in Texas, all 254 counties currently allow vote by mail for voters age 65. The only thing at issue here is scaling that out to the rest of the electorate. They already have the, the mechanisms in place. Okay, we are out of time, but Ed, Brian, thank you both for sharing your perspectives with us tonight. Thank you. Thanks.